I stormed out of my car and towards the front door, throwing it open as fast as I could. Aria. I put my teeth on the edge of his pants and yanked them down. Rah! <laughs> Mark, is she old enough to be her father? No, I'm not. I am old enough. I'm not saying that fucking line. This is why I fucking hate Marcus. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello, my loves. I'm Degenerate, and welcome to... Till Death Do Us Part. Now... I remember saying multiple times in multiple lives when people asked for it, I was like, I'm not gonna play it, I've already played it, so no reaction is gonna be genuine, but. Damn! I ended up deciding to play it anyways. You know, I don't know. Because every, every time y'all talked about it, I always thought about the character that I liked the most, and now I have to do it. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do my favorite character today. And if you want, let me know in the comments if you want all the other characters. Because I will- I certainly will not do all of them if no one asks, so. Yup. Um, where are they? Characters. As you can see, I have everything. <laughs> As you can see, I have everything. Because I finished this game in like... Two seconds, so. This is Jack. The necrophilia Yak, right? <laughs> Um, we got Marcus de la Cruz. He's just, he's odd. Oh, it's no death endings. That's uh, very interesting. We have my husband, Chris. I love him so much. Uh, as you can see, they're gonna look different though in the beginning. Well, it's mainly him. Uh, this is Chris's ugly fucking sister. We're not even gonna. Uh, this is our. Some guy. <laughs> He's our husband in the route with Marcus. And this is Ellen. Who seems to have an interest in Jack. The necrophiliac. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, well not- I'm not doing all of them. Who we're gonna do, actually, is Chris. He's my favorite, so. Uh, let's get through his warnings first, because... Yeah. Ugh! Individual. Abuse. Verbal abuse. That word. You, we all see it. Implied and shown. Violence. Asphyxiation. Uh, yay. General warnings. Gore. Medium. That word. Very high. Horror. Mild. Nudity. High. MC. Temperament. Abusive. So that's us. We are abusive towards him. Shocker. So yeah, that's what we're that's what we're doing today. New game. What is your name? Because we're gonna put a new name, which is D. Obviously. Okay. No. Uh. Yep. The selection screen. Isn't it so cool? This is them when we first marry them. So yeah. I'm gonna do Chris. Chris is my husband. I hope you guys are in for. I uh, hope you guys are excited. This is um definitely unique. But I never said he was a good one. Oh my! God. <laughs> Our marriage has been. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. This is so stupid. Why am I so excited to play this? Our marriage has been disappointing for as long as I could remember. I woke up in the morning to see him gone from his spot next to me, and I sighed. <sighs> he was probably out for a morning run, because he's very active. He works out. I put myself out of bed and looked at his suit hanging from the door. He was definitely out running, like he always was. Is that a problem, my end? <laughs> I went down to the kitchen and saw a plate of food waiting for me. How kind. It was probably cold by now. Edgy. He was always doing something stupid and acting like he was thoughtful. Uh, you see how our attitude towards him already? This is awful. I poked at it as I heard Chris come in. 
See, the heart's already red. He loves us. Not later, though. Good morning. Chris looked around the corner for me. Oh, at me. Whoops. He's so scared. Timid. <laughs> I glanced up at him, sighing tiredly. Maybe it was just me, but I didn't really want to look at him right now. Damn. I didn't even say, like, the theme for the game, whoever, for those who don't know what it is. We're already married to these psychopaths, so... That's basically, I mean, there's nothing else to say. Like, we're already married to them. And we find out that they're crazy later. Like, <laughs> it took us this long. But yeah, that's basically what it is. He acted like he didn't notice my frustration and walked over to me, holding out a flower. Aww. I saw this and thought of you. How sweet. Say nothing. Stop wasting money, you stupid f I'm allergic. <laughs> I have to be in character, like, ugh. <laughs> um, I know exactly what route I'm going for, so we're gonna say nothing. Um, yeah, that's the right choice. Chris and I looked at each other in silence for a few moments. I'm sorry. Chris looked at the flower in his hand forlornly. Never, never in my life. I don't know what you're apologizing about, it seems stupid. It was always like this. He does something for me, then he apologizes. We're just a bitch. I'm just gonna say that right now. No matter what it was, he's like a jellyfish. Did you get- <laughs> Did you get back- Wait, what? Oh, did you gel back your hair just to go running? Uh-oh. I sipped the top of my coffee. They say that if you keep your hair out of your face, it's supposed to give you more confidence. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because I know. Uh, that's a wonderful fun fact. Thank you. So, this sounds like it wouldn't work. What time are you going to work today? Shit. Why are you trying to get. What? Oh, I can't. I can't. We're so mean. Why are you trying to get rid of me or something? No. I just wanted to ask a question. <laughs> there he goes. Freaking out. Just making a joke. Well, <laughs> newsflash, it wasn't that fucking funny. I worked per diem for some hospitals, but it was never enough to have such little work experience. I couldn't find someone something full time. Then look, I don't know yet. They'll give me a call when they need me. I push the remains of my food into the trash. He watched me do it, and got up to go change. I rolled my eyes. If he was offended, he should have said something. I better get ready for work. That sheepish tone was always lingering in his voice. I didn't know what his problem was, why he couldn't just stand up for himself. But I was done babying him. Yeah, you better. <gasps> Sorry. I started to scroll through my phone, looking at the messages I had. Just a few about part-time jobs. I replied to one and got up from my seat. After a while, Chris came down the stairs in that oversized suit. Are you ever going to get that thing tailored? Does it look that bad? Yeah. You look like a kid wearing his father's clothing. God damn. <laughs> I walked into the bedroom to get my scrubs on. I'll think about it. Of course you will. Always thinking and never doing anything about it. This is awful. We deserve exactly what's coming to us, bro. Honestly. I let out a sigh and poked my head out of the bedroom. What are you standing around for? He shook his head quickly. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go now. Bye. Bye. I love you. Stop wasting time. <laughs> Stop wasting time and get going. I yelled, moving back into the room trying to get myself together for the day. I could hear the front door opening and Chris gently shutting it behind himself. I sighed again and closed the closet. 
I walked out of the house to my own car to go to work. Nice. Work was the same as it always has been. Had been, whoopsies. Taking care of patients. It was a welcome distraction from how disappointing life was at home. Jesus. I looked at the time. It wouldn't be long before my shift was over. Look at us driving. As soon as I was done with my work, I got ready to leave. Half wondering if I should just go to a bar. No. There wasn't anything at home anyways. I tapped my fingers on the steering wheel. But in the end, I just drove home anyways. We always seem to be in a bind ever since we bought the house. I looked at the car in the driveway. Was Chris sent home early again? I noticed the second one parked nearby and my eyes narrowed. Oh god. Ugh, I really hate this bitch. I didn't like the looks of that one. I stormed out of my car and towards the front door, throwing it open as fast as I could. Aria. I spat without a hint of courtesy. I looked at her outfit. Of course she'd come over just like a slut. Oh, hello, D. She looked me over, looking drab as always. Bite me, bitch. Oh, I would. But I don't like to taste a frog in my mouth. Uh-huh, and I don't like to taste a gonorrhea in my mouth. Get the fuck out of my house. Oh, it's yours? Pretty sure it's me and Chris- it's in me and Chris's name, so... Arya spun a key on her finger and got closer. I can come in whenever I want. Oh, I bet a lot of people come in whenever they want. For you... You're the one trespassing. I felt my blood boil under my skin. She paid the down payment and got us this house, but that didn't mean she could act all high and mighty over it. Chris. Explain this, bro. Chris slid over, quickly getting between the two of us. Stop. Oh my god. Guys, this isn't like you. That's him. Chris held his sister back from ripping my head off, or vice versa. Arya put her hand on her brother's arm and looked up to him. You're too nice to them. Arya rubbed his forearm through his sweater, way too affectionately. It was disgusting how she acted around him. Arya, are you gonna stay for dinner? Why would you ask that? <laughs> Arya swung around him and went into motion and hugged him. She gave him a small kiss on the cheek and I almost wretched. Oh no, sweetie. I just wanted to visit you. I lost my appetite. Arya gave me a cold glare and shoved past me, almost kicking me down. Knocking. My bad. I can't stand the smell of bedpans. Uh-huh, cause your job is so much better. She moved out of the door and slammed it shut, rattling everything in the room. I'm going to rip her head off. <laughs> I wish. I felt Chris grab my shoulder before I went after her. Hey! I wish you guys could get along. No, your sister's f***ing weird, bro. She wants you. So... I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I ripped my shoulder out of from under his hand and shoved him. You're the one who lets her talk to me like that. I can't control her. She'll listen to you. You just won't speak up. I shoved past him and went up the stairs. I could hear Chris sighing downstairs. I went to lay down, still fuming about Arya. Who the hell does she think she was? <laughs> Just barging in whenever she felt like it. Uh-oh. When I went back down the stairs, I could hear Chris on the phone with someone. Panicking like he always was. Looking at him and tilted my head to the side. What now? He got fired. <laughs> Chris looked over at me and put his hand over the speaker. I'm just talking to my job. It's okay. Alright. I rolled my eyes. They never called him like this. Why would they? They never needed his help after work. In fact, I was pretty sure he came out early today since he had his tracksuit on. 
<laughs> he looked like he was about to cry. Oh no. Yes. Yes, sir. Have a good day. Okay. I'll be back to pick up my stuff tomorrow. He tried to keep a- Oh god. He tried to give up a brave act, but his voice crackled. Cracked? Cracked. And I knew what was wrong. Uh, honey? I got fired. What? <laughs> His voice was trembling, and I let out a loud sigh. Ah! Don't honey me. <laughs> I swatted his hand. Yeah, swatted. As hard as I could. What are we supposed to do? I could ask Arya. For what? A job? Money? What's wrong with you? You can't rely on your sister for everything. I screamed and shook with anger. He was impossible. I'm sorry. You better be sorry. You're f pathetic. <laughs> I yelled, running my hand through my hair. Your mother was right. I shouldn't have married you. Damn! That's gotta hurt. I'm trying my best, but... But what? The world's out to get you? Uh, I shoved him and got closer. Stop acting like a goddamn victim and stand up for yourself. Silence. <laughs> Even the sniffling stopped. <laughs> What's your problem now? Leave. I'm not leaving. We're not leaving. Because, um, if we leave, we gotta talk to his f ass sister, so. And I don't want that. He moved towards me and grabbed my neck, slamming me hard into the wall. <laughs> it all happened in a matter of seconds. Oh, yeah. I found myself on the ground, choking for air. <laughs> you! Really? You're my fucking problem. He pushed his knuckle in, letting out a loud crack. I think I can do that right now, actually. Yeah. I can do it too, buddy. He put his foot on my chest and rubbed the tip of his shoe on my jaw. Ooh. I couldn't believe what was happening. Oh no, he stood up for himself, like we asked. I can't believe that. He'd never done anything like this before. I'll show you who's the f***ing victim. Yeah. Let it be known, buddy. He seethed between his teeth and kicked me in the face. Nice. I was seeing stars. Yep. And then nothing. Alright, everybody. It's begun. It's the psychotic nature. I looked up blearily, trying to get my bearings. My head was still sore and throbbing. I was sitting in my living room. As I looked around, I realized the windows and doors, the door, was were boarded up. Yeah. I went to get up and felt my arms catch on something. I was stuck in my spot. I saw Chris sitting in the corner and looking at his phone. His usual slick back hair was down and fluffy. Uh... <laughs> whatever. You got it. He wasn't wearing his oversized suit or his exercise clothes. Yeah. Where did he even get that outfit? I don't know. I've never seen it before. Chris's blue eyes were fixed on something on the screen. What the fuck? Hey, idiot, I'm awake. <laughs> say nothing. We have to say nothing. I let out a small sigh and Chris looked up from his phone. You're awake. I am. He said trying to sound angry with me. Yeah. I looked away from him. Chris got up from his spot and stood in front of me, crossing his arms over his chest. So what, you think you're a big man because you got me in a vulnerable position? You. <laughs> I looked up at him in disgust. He punched me in the face as hard as he could. Oh, uh, if there, if there wasn't a wall behind me, I knew I would be on the ground. Pain blossomed in my nose and quickly spread throughout my face, making my eyes water. 
The coppery smell of blood filled my nostrils and dripping from my nose and down my chin. Yikes. This punch was like getting hit by a truck. When did he get so strong? Bitch, you gotta know he works out. Stop it. Yeah, maybe I'm not a big man. Whatever. I learned from the best how to be a fucking asshole. I spat blood in his face as he gripped the bridge of my nose. He squeezed my broken nose and pushed it back into place. <laughs> With one harsh movement, the cartilage was letting out a sickening, crunching sound. He stepped away from me. So what now? You gonna show me who's boss? He didn't say anything at first. Chris took a deep breath and looked at me. Yeah. I will. And when I'm done, I'm fucking out of here. Chris looked at his hands. His knuckles were only slightly reddened from the punch. He was out of here? As if he would just leave like that? That is an ending. He does just leave. <laughs> he was quiet for a moment after that. I want to do something to you whatever you want buddy uh, like what am i gonna do i'm tied up chris, chris stammered out i cocked my eyebrow at him that was my husband and yeah it is stammering and weak and uh oh my eyes drifted down to his jeans and i saw a massive bulge standing against wait sorry straining against a Tenting fabric. I couldn't help but swallow hard. Well, not yet. <laughs> and look up at him. You could see the nervousness on my face. His usual gentle or nervous smile twisted into a devious smirk. He leaned over me, pushing the chair back with one palm. Oh, I'm on a chair! That's so kind! Usually I'm on the floor. <laughs> So I was forced to look up in his- in the eye. Look him in the eye. I never- I never liked the way you used toys on me. Maybe it's time for some payback. He rubbed his free hand on his member. Ugh, it was too big. <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. <laughs> We were mad at him because he was too big. I never wanted your monster, your monster member in me. I growled lowly, tempting him to make his move. I think I'm not gonna give you a choice this time. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Chris let the chair go and I snapped back into place. Chris pulled out a switchblade from his back pocket and flicked it open. Ooh. The blade popped out of its, <laughs> of its place with one swift motion. When did he get that? He grabbed the bottom of my shirt and tore through the cloth. Oh no, not the cloth. Guess he didn't want me to get out of my seat. He looked at me and licked his lips. He grumbled. What's your problem, Chrissy? What are you staring at? You losing your nerve? What are you staring at? You. Why do you have to look so good? I don't know. Chris groaned. I guess I had to fall for something. Something. Jesus Christ, I don't know why I'm doing this. Open your mouth and I'll make it useful for once. I complied reluctantly. He does have a gun though, so. There's the major difference between him and... Yeah. <laughs> he shoved his lube-covered member into my mouth. Leaning back, he could get the full length down my throat without a problem. I'm not giving up on this. Not really. You're gonna be my punching bag till I say I'm done with you. Chris's usual nervousness, nervous tone was stronger and more confident than ever. I narrowed my eyes at him, and he pushed me away. I watched him walk away leaving the living room and disappearing from sight. I hung my head and let out a frustrated grunt. I just wanted to get out of here. Damn, Chris. Damn. I waited impatiently for something to happen. 
I was getting anxious waiting for Chris to come back around. I could hear his loud music coming from the kitchen. How obnoxious. Uh oh. He walked back into the room with a large steak with mashed potatoes draped across it. Iconic meal. Chris looked at me and then ate the food. Oh. I thought it was for me. <laughs> oh my god. What's wrong? You getting hungry? You're such a dick. Chris spoke in a mocking tone as he ate his food. I glared at him. Yeah, maybe he was a good cook and I never really thanked him for anything he made. But he didn't need to rub it in my face. He put his feet up on the table. He was trying to piss me off. If you're hungry, you can just ask for food, you know. Chris ate his steak. Yeah, man's gotta get in his protein. So... He chewed slowly, letting the blood drip down his chin. Ew, is it like, rare? It's gross. <laughs> he slowly licked it off and stood up. He grabbed my face, begged for it. He gripped down on my cheeks. No! Please. Fuck you. Where can I pick, please? <laughs> Chris looks shocked. That I actually did what he asked. He leaned down and looked me in the eye as if he was trying to find something. Something that told him I was just being a little shithead or messing with him for something or something. Please, Chris, will you share your food with me? Okay. He cut off a piece of meat. Open your mouth. His usual tone had resurfaced. I never thought. <laughs> I'd be relieved to hear it again. I obeyed and he put it in my mouth. I don't know why I said it like that. He was always a good cook. The flavors filled my mouth and I feel grateful that I swallowed my pride. He put his fork down and looked to the side. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. I will see you later, buddy. He walked off with the plate. Maybe he didn't feel like looking at me anymore. My head bobbed in exhaustion and I leaned back down. Oh, leaned it back down. Yeah. I was still tired. Maybe I should get some rest. Maybe you should. I'm gonna need it for tomorrow. It's gonna get crazy. Chris wandered back into the room. He grabbed the frame of the door and started to exercise. Was he always doing that? What? I watched him do pull-ups with ease. Oh, yeah. I never really paid attention to how muscular he was before. How long had you been doing this? What are you doing? Still having those dreams? Say nothing. I don't know why it went forward. <laughs> I have to read everything first. What are you doing? Working out? Chris grunted as he did his pull-ups. I watched him for a moment, and he dropped down off the door frame. Door frame. Do you always work out? I guess you wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. I do. Chris rubbed his wrist. It's the only thing that distracts me from him. He stopped and looked at me. We both knew what he was going to say. You. I wasn't surprised at all. Why didn't you just leave me then? Because I'm a spineless jellyfish. That is what I said. Chris's soft expressions shifted and he punched me in the gut. It wasn't as hard as it was this morning. That's what she always called me. Chris reeled back and punched me again. The ridge of his knuckles digging deep into my ribcage. The pain shot up my side. I started to cough, and he tugged my head up. You're a lot easier on the knuckles than a f***ing punching bag. I would assume so. Pretty soft. I could feel him going in for another blow. His knuckles cracked into my other side. I can feel my ribs cracking under the pressure. How much did Chris work out? Jesus. I felt them send blow after blow. Oh shit, do I beg? Where the f was the mouse when I needed it? I let out a loud sob and I looked up to at him. Stop, please. <laughs> I stammered out as he sent one hard blow into my stomach, snapping the chair I was in half. Yikes. I curled up on the ground and coughed. Oops. <laughs> Oops. 
I heard him say as he looked at the heap I was in. He took out a knife and sawed me out of my restraints. Yeah, yeah, fight him. That'll get him. Stay still. I think I just did pull-ups in front of you with ease. You're gonna try to fight him? Dumb. I did as he said as he released me from the broken pieces of wood. The tape and ropes were gonna were gone from my skin. He slapped handcuffs around my wrist and looked me in the eye. You're not going anywhere. Oh shit. I didn't expect to. You know, I don't want to leave. I don't know if you didn't know that. He said softly as he picked me up easily and dropped me on the couch. Chris sighed and shook his head. I'm going downstairs. Okay. <laughs> Let him go. Wait! What? What do you want? You want another beatdown? Uh, I mean, no. Not now. But... <laughs> I'm joking. Duh! <laughs> I looked at him, biting down on my bottom lip. Let me help. <laughs> Tell him off. Let me help. With what? You f***ing idiot. <laughs> Chris screamed and I mashed my face into his stomach. I couldn't hold him. I couldn't do anything. I just pushed my face into his stomach. Let... Let me help you. With what? <laughs> he says. I rub my face lower and... Knows his member. Through his jeans. Maybe if he let off some steam... He'd feel a little better. Why? <laughs> he groaned as he put his hand... On my head. <laughs> shut up, shut up. I just beat the shit out of you. <laughs> I just beat the shit out of you. Yeah. <laughs> now you want to have relations? What the fuck is wrong with you? You stupid slut. <laughs> I moaned softly against his member as I started to pulse and twist through his jeans. <laughs> Maybe I liked it. <laughs> I, put my, I put my teeth on the edge of his pants and yanked them down. Rah! <laughs> Apparently we were strong enough to get rid of his shirt too. <laughs> he pulled his tank top off, <laughs> tank top off and tossed it aside. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh my god. <laughs> His, you know, bounced out and I looked at it. <laughs> that monster. <laughs> it was still so intimidating. Yeah, it's being censored, too. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had to censor something, bro. I sucked. Oh. <laughs> he pulled away from me and went to go change. Bye. Suddenly I felt lonely. I fell asleep in my spot with a sigh. <sighs> I turned my head to the window and peered outside. It was getting light out. I took a deep breath, trying to forget how sore and exhausted I was. How long was I going to be stuck here? Uh oh. I could hear Chris's footsteps coming, um, coming from upstairs as he stretched. Oh, and he stretched, looking over at me. He didn't say hello, he just walked into the kitchen. I could hear him cooking again. I looked around trying to find a way to get out of my cuffs. This wasn't exactly the tool shed or anything. It was just our living room. There was nothing I could use here. I twisted my wrists. These cuffs weren't coming off unless I broke my hands. Chris walked into the living room and sat down in front of me eating his breakfast. How long are you planning to keep me here? Let me go you asshole! Can I have some food too? Question mark? Obviously, we're gonna ask. <laughs> he looked at me and cocked his eyebrow. What? Can I have some food too? Please? He seemed surprised by my tone, but even more so about my pleading manner. 
But I didn't want to fight with him anymore. Right, it's not like you were winning. I just wanted to eat. I just put a large amount of the eggs in my mouth. Oh. Wait, what? Chris put a large amount of the eggs in his mouth. Oh. I could feel my face turning into a pout as he leaned over to me. Wait, what? Leaned over me? What? Why? He noticed my expression and covered my mouth with his. I don't remember what is happening! His breakfast piling into my mouth. I swallowed some of the food, but kept our mouths together. I genuinely don't remember that happening. I'm gonna be so for real. I rubbed my tongue against his. He gripped my body and pulled me close to him. It was so warm. Oh my god. It made my head spin when he kissed me like this. When was the last time we kissed like this? Years, I bet. My nerves were on fire. Every inch of me ached for him. Oh my god. He pulled himself away and I whimpered. I wanted more. You've never been this obedient. What can I say? He put his thumb over my lower lip, caressing it gently. I licked it and sucked on the tip of his thumb. His breaths were starting to get a bit heavier. Jesus, you've never dominated me like this. <laughs> he looked at me and twirled the keys to my cuffs on his finger. Will you do what I say if I uncuff you? Sure. I nodded quickly and panted. I wanted him anyways, so what did it matter? He uncuffed me and I dropped quickly to my knees on the floor. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, record-breaking speeds, I swear. He took a seat on the couch and watched me move around the ground. I put my hands on his boots and looked at them. He, le <laughs> he leaned his head to the side and watched me lick his boots slowly. Did, we, did he ask for us to do this? No. We just willingly licked his boots. Mm-hmm. He probably stepped in shit or... Uh, it does not matter. Like... I rubbed my head on his knee as he took out his member and started to stroke himself, watching me. They didn't taste good. Well, they're boots. I would assume that they don't. Why should they? Something about the look on Chris's face urged me on. <sighs> Clean them up good. I made a sound of agreement. Okay. Because we love it so much. Chris leaned his hand down and ran his fingers through my hair. My 4C hair. Yeah. I nuzzled his hand and licked his fingers. He pushed them into my mouth, rubbing them against my tongue. I rubbed myself on him and whined. I want you. Chris grabbed my shoulders and pushed me back onto the coffee table. He rubbed his member between my legs. His, you know, grinding against me. I bucked my hips and bit my lip. Yes, please. Give me your member. <clears throat> he released my neck and I slumped bonelessly on the coffee table. Don't leave the house, but... You can walk around if you want. Chris put me down on the couch again. I gripped his shirt. Don't leave me yet. He sat down on the couch with me and put his hand on my head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it was an easy sleep. <clears throat> I looked around. Chris was nowhere to be seen. Look for a way out. Look for Chris. Look for Chris, huh? So amazing. Chris! <laughs> I got up and walked around the house looking for Chris. Chris? I called out. Upstairs. Baby girl. He yelled from the bedroom. I followed his voice and found him sitting in our room. He was just staring at the wall. I got up behind him and rubbed his shoulders. What's wrong, Pookie Bear? Nothing. He paused as if he was thinking about 
then looking over his shoulder at me. Why are you being so nice to me now? Because you beat the f*** out of me, you know? You, you put me in my place and I, I don't know how to act. I don't know. Maybe being an asshole was just getting old. Yeah. I put my chin on his head. Oh. Yellow. He filled with the blanket nearby. He stood up and left the room again. Oh no. I wasn't sure what was going on in his head. <laughs> but I laid down on our bed, smelling his pillow. <sighs> Chris. Oh my god. <laughs> that dime store cologne lingered on his pillow. I closed my eyes thinking. I felt someone sit down near me. The bed dipped between. Oh, beneath the extra weight. And I sat up, looking at Chris. Oh my god. He looked tired. Like he hadn't slept in days. Go to sleep, Pookie. That's... but uh, yeah. What was he doing up here if he wasn't sleeping? Chris? He looked over at me. And put his hand on my head, touching my hair. Don't let me keep you up. He put on his shoes and grabbed a bag. I looked at him and then the bag. Whoa, wait a second now. I looked at the door and he slung his bag over his shoulder. I'm gonna see myself out. What? Why? Look at what I did to you. I'm tired. You're probably tired of this shit too. I'm just gonna go. Chris back towards the door. I'll make sure that Arya doesn't bother you here anymore. He rubbed the back of his head. He looked at the floor and turned away from me. Don't go! <laughs> Don't leave! Stop. We could totally fix this. We can make it work. <laughs> we can make it work. Yeah. I quickly grabbed Chris's arm as he turned to leave and he looked back at me. What are you doing? Don't leave. I repeated as I grabbed him and tried to yank him back into the room. Chris let me- oh god. Chris let me lead him back into the bed. I pulled him over at me. Over to me. And put my hand behind his head. Don't leave me. I can't be toxic to you anymore. We can fix it. Like I just said, that's crazy. Just give it one more chance, okay? Please. Chris bit down on his lip and leaned down. He kissed me on the lips, his soft breath causing a tightness in my chest. My heart started to race, my face against his chin. I gripped the back of his head, tangling my fingers in his hair, pushing his mouth over mine, my lips mashing together. I could feel his tongue sipping, no, slipping past my lips. I felt overwhelmed. Everything told me that this wasn't my husband, but I knew it was him. I need you. You can't talk to me like you have anymore. Uh, like, what? <laughs> I was gonna do it anyway. And I'll stop- <laughs> Oh. And I'll stop hurting you. Ah, uh, okay. I'll do my best. I'll do- You'll do your best? But... I whispered as I gripped his shirt. He ran his hands over my hips and kissed my neck. His hand caressed my skin. I bit my lip and put my wrists, put up my wrists, leaving myself at his mercy. Chris, he grunted into my neck. What? Can you uh, try that rope bondage stuff on me? I whispered as he kissed my collarbone down to my chest. Why? I kind of like it when you dominate me and hurt me a little. Chris turned me over and rubbed my back. What are you doing? I'm talking to you. I squeaked. I know. I'm thinking. He put his hands on my ass and squeezed. I could feel him spreading me open. But I wasn't sure if he was paying attention to that. Are you sure you want to do this? Baby girl? Chris asked, finally releasing me and looking under the bed. What? Oh. I watched him pull out some rope. And he rubbed it against me. 
I could feel the rough texture grazing my skin and I sat up. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah. Chris pulled the ropes around me. He sounded so rough and confident. I wasn't used to it, but I nodded and let him work. Let me see you go to work. <laughs> let me see you go to work. <laughs> I felt them twisted around me in a web of rope, tying me down, opening me up for him. He finally flipped me around and I couldn't move. His eyes rolled my body and he leaned into my neck, biting down and pulling one of the ribs. I could feel everything around me shift to, to his whim. And I let out a moan as he rubbed his hand down my stomach. He rubbed the insides of my thighs and I bucked my hips unconsciously into Chris's touch. The ropes forced me back into place and I looked up at him. I looked up at him, <laughs> panting. He was getting flushed, and his member was hard, pushing against his pants. Chris? He says what? No. <laughs> I snapped his attention back to me. He leaned over me and rubbed himself against me, teasing me. Me. I rubbed against him the best I could, but the ropes were tight. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> he pulled himself from his jeans. He grabbed the lube from the side table and poured it on his member. Hello? God damn, so many organisms in this room. It's odd. I leaned my head back and I kissed my husband. He started to undo my ropes and I laid back in bed. I woke up in the morning without Chris next to me. He shaved and took a shower and I waited in the bed for him. I looked up at him. When he came back into the room, Chris, I got up and rubbed my arm. He cut me off before I could say anything else. I think we need to talk. Chris put his hand on my shoulder, a gentle but firm hand. We need to get help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was struggling to get the words out. He didn't seem timid like he'd always been before, but it felt like he'd burned out all of his anger. Now he just sounded hopeless and empty. I don't want to go, but I don't want to treat you like that anymore. I truly am sorry I did, but we both have done things we shouldn't have. I took a shaky breath. Yeah, that wasn't right. None of it was. I don't know where my head went. All these years I've been horrible to you, but you always stayed, even though you deserved better. Yeah, well, what I did wasn't any better. He wrapped his arms around me and held me close. They say people can't change, and if that's true, then we can always break it off, but we can still try our best first. I sat with him, listening to his heartbeat. I'd- it'd been so long since we'd just been near each other like this, not touching or talking, just being close. I'd forgotten how much I enjoyed it. I'm sorry. It couldn't fix anything to s uh what? It didn't fix anything to say that. Every apology in the world wouldn't make a difference after everything I had done. But I still felt like I had to say something. He had to know I meant it. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm so sorry. He didn't say anything back. It was just it was the same terrible silence he'd suffer every time he told me he loved me. And I just stared. I never realized how much it hurt him. I wanted to take it all back, all the cruel things I'd said, all the harsh silences every time I belittled him. I apologized again and again and again. I hoped someday he would believe me. I hoped someday I would deserve to hear him say I forgive you. You survived. Chris stayed with you. Um, before I end though, there's like a bonus you get after you've like finished the character or i think if, if you finish everybody you get this little thing here there we go put our name again i sat down on the bench and watched some of some of people oh walk through the schoolyard it was uh as busy as ever i took out my notebook and looked at the doodles in the margins of my pages maybe i wasn't cut off for the school I guess just because I had a scholarship did, didn't mean I should have taken it. 
Mm -hmm. What? Where are you supposed to take that? I sighed and watched two men walk past me and sit in the park on the park bench across from me. I pulled on my headphones but didn't turn on the music, pretending to be interested in my notes. Maybe I just wanted to eavesdrop on some cute guys. Ugh. Marcus is not good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for helping me nab this job, Marcus. That helped out a lot. No problem, dude. Chris. Marcus smacked the other man on the chest. Ow, what? I'm right here. I don't need to get handsy. What happened to- Oh. Chris groaned and leaned back, messing with his fluffy hair. I don't know, they screamed in my face and just took off. They just never fucking came back. <laughs> Are you gonna get Arya to like, force the divorce or something? I guess there's a bunch of shit I gotta do, but whatever. It's better this way. Honestly, I'm kinda glad they stormed out. I don't know what I would've done if they didn't. Oh god. <laughs> Probably nothing good. I'm gonna- I'm gonna go to therapy and all that. Oh, I know someone who might be able to help you with that. She goes to the school. <laughs> if you don't like your therapist or whatever. He's real good. You know, Chris, what's up? You were never a pushover in high school. What happened? Maybe to you? My parents beat me down pretty hard. Yeah. It was hard to keep my normal self when you come home to that, you know? I'm glad to have you back. Well, I'll keep you posted on my treatment and stuff. I feel more comfortable for sure. Chris said as he watched a student walk past him. Marcus tilted his head far to the side and grinned. Marcus, you're old enough to be her father. No, I'm not. I am old enough. I'm not saying that fucking line. This is why I fucking hate Marcus. Goodbye. Oh, I almost threw up. Marcus got up and winked at Chris, who cringed. Cause that shit's gross. That was not a picture I wanted to see in my brain. Chris, ho Chris's horrified face was only complimented by Marcus's suggestive thrusting and licking. Ew. You are a police officer. That's what makes it even worse. And you are on duty. No, I'm not. Hey, me, come back. Later, Chris. I HATE HIM! I watched the tall man put his hand on the shoulder of- <gasps> On her shoulder and they walked off together. What a fucking- Ugh. Give him power and it goes straight to his head. Yeah! I should knock him down a few pegs. Chris- <laughs> Chris's eyes locked onto mine and he waved his hand. I'd apologize for him, but I think his actions spoke for him. I giggled and pulled my headphones off my ears. It's okay, it's nice to see someone more lively than the staff here. Although you look like you're joining... You look like you're joining their ranks? Yeah, real great accomplishment. Christopher King. Rent-a-cop. He put his hands on his hips like a superhero, and I let out another snicker. I'm D. You can call me Chris. Honestly, I'd say you're doing pretty well if you have a job at a job at all. You could be a part of the 4%. Ah, oh, you must go here. You sound way smarter than me already. Chris said, rubbing the back of his neck and laughing a bit. Smartness is relative. You could know more about something else. Like sport ball. Chris laughed. What the hell is sport ball? You know, the one where you kick the ball, but they kick a ball into the other people's touchdown zone goal. Go sport ball. You sound like you know a lot about it already, honestly. I stood up from my spot on the bench and sat down next to him. He looked over at me. Maybe we- <laughs> Maybe you can teach me something else then. I'm not much of a teacher. I opened up my notes and showed him my doodles. I'm not much of a learner. These are really nice. They're just for fun. Just because you did something for fun doesn't mean it can't be nice. He held up my notebook, and I took it out of his hand, my fingertips caressing his knuckles. They were rough. You wanna go out for coffee? Don't you have class? That's what you're worried about? 
I can ditch. But you can't ditch work. I'm not on the clock. I'm night guard. Why are you here then? Maybe it's just so that I, so I can talk to nice people. That you do want coffee. <laughs> I think I need to warn you that this package comes with a lot of baggage. Yeah. I flex my arms, trying to look buff. I got strong arms. Chris hesitated, but then he flexed his own arm. So do I. I squealed and rubbed his bicep. Oh no, sir. I think I need to lift more weights. I think... A 20 ounce coffee would do it. Oh well, if my personal trainer says I need to do that. Why don't you lead the way? Chris stood up and held out his hand. I pulled myself off the bench and leaned my head on his arm. Let's go then. <laughs> Anyways, though, that was Till Death Duel's part, Chris. Chris's route. I don't know. He, I like him. Eh. I don't want to get too in-depth or whatever. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to see all the other routes, let me know. Because if no one says anything, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I kind of just wanted to do this because it was, it was like, I guess, quick. And you know, it's, it's always nice to go down memory lane. So, with all of that being said, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye, my loves.